Hey guys, welcome back, and I've got a good one for you today. This is a long time coming. I've been talking to Tyson at Hammer Built, and he was gracious enough to send me his entire tailgate support system, from the tailgate support for your 37-inch tire, all the way to the Rotopack setup that they have for carrying some spare gas, water, or max tracks, and also a little CB radio antenna they have on the top as well. And you're going to hear my kid in the background because I am doing daddy duty today, and he's helping me out. Along with Jed, I'm not sure if he's in the frame, but you saw him in the previous video on Can You Fit 37s on a mostly stock Sasquatch Bronco. So, with all that out of the way, I want to preface this by saying I intended from the get-go to run Hammerbilt products. I actually reached out to Tyson because their product interests me so much, and I've been looking for months for the proper system to run 37s. I decided on a system, and I reached out to him, and I said, Hey, Tyson, I just want to know about you, your company, what you guys are all about. And while we were talking, he, he asked me a few questions about what I'm doing with Gold Country Broncos, what my goals are, and at the end of the conversation, what I thought, I'd be shelling out some money for his awesome product. He actually offered just to send it to me to show you guys what they're about, what they're doing. So I'm excited to do that very thing in this video, so stay tuned. It's going to be cool. Now to start off, just to show you what we have, we have the tire carrier. Obviously, the quality on this is pretty good. The powder coating is phenomenal. The inserts for the threading are clean and really nice. It looks good. It looks like it was professionally built. They've got their cool little logo etched in there, which I thought was pretty cool. We got the third brake light adapter as well to push it up for 37s. We have their roto packs set up as well as their adapter for your CB radio. And also came with this pretty cool shock. This is for the tailgate. And I think it's a tailgate limiter to limit the travel of your rear hatch so it doesn't extend out into your tail light if you're running that extra gear on the back, such as a, remind me of the name. Rotopax. Rotopax, yes. I ordered that through Wild Horses, so that'll be here soon. So first step, remove your Mitch Creel inspired license plate bracket. And then you're going to take a three quarter inch or I think it, a 21 millimeter might fit better, but I got a three quarter inch because I do American stuff. America. And yeah, America. And you're gonna remove your spare tire. I've already kind of loosened this. So you're gonna remove this and then we'll uh, take your spare tire off. Find a buddy. I put this on by myself earlier when I did my bumper. Check out that video. And it was a pain. I think I, I, think I still have back pain from that moment. All right. <laughs> nice. So next we gotta pop this little sucker off so we can access some wiring and unplug our camera and all that doodad. I don't know how to do this, so I'm gonna ask Jed to help me. How do you do it? I don't care if you scratch it, it's already scratched. Oh, you literally just pry it out. Look at that. Oh, I'll do the rest. I want to do some of this. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Okay, maybe not easy. I think you pull that side out. Ta-da! Ooh. Eh. Dog hair and dust. Sweet. Now... We got this light, and I think we have to unplug it. Yeah, you unplug it here. There's suit here and up here, and they're color coded. It's such a halo. So we're gonna come through here, and I know there's a lot of light reflection, but we're gonna unplug these two plugs right here for the light, and call it good. So the reason we take this off is so we can take the whole assembly down clean it up and make it easier to put the hammer built tailgate support on. Pretty easy. Eight. Yeah, it's three eighths. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a half inch socket and we're gonna take these series of bolts off that hold this OEM tire carrier, which is plastic, to the tailgate. Looks pretty easy. Requires a little ooga dooga, no worries. My 
kid is having the time of his life. I'm pretty dumb when it comes to maintenance and fixing things. So if I can do this, if Jed can do this, you can do it. Okay, so, so after you get all that done, this theoretically should just pull off, right? Yeah, unless there's one. Oh, no, oh screw it. We missed two bolts. My bad. I missed two bolts. Yeah. You can see how uh, knowledgeable I am. Okay, so after you get those, all the bolts out, the whole assembly pulls right off. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna replace this DV8 third brake light extension with the hammer built product because honestly, I like hammer built, they're pretty cool. And we're gonna clean all that up. So this works for both your OEM or aftermarket, but you just get a Torx, loosen up there's four bolts. We're going to loosen these four bolts and we'll replace this bracket with the hammer built bracket. So then we put our hammer built bracket on and it comes with these nifty little bolts that bring it right up. And I think they're also going to be a, a little bit bigger than a 10 millimeter. They're gonna be American size. I like that. Mark. Any company that uses American size bolts is a winner in my book. The question is, what size is it? I don't know. <laughs> no, that was supposedly a three eighths, but my sizes are all over the place. Okay. Okay, we found it. It's gonna be a 7 16th. Gonna do a little miniature Ooga Dooga on each of these. Just need them snug. You don't wanna over torque them. That lock washer they came with will do its job. And there we go. Now we're gonna put the light on and get the bolts for that. Now, if you've ever seen dowels, it kind of works just like a dowel. It just, the dowel inserts just fit right up to the holes. They sucker in, and then you're gonna use the original hardware to put that back in with that uh, T30 Torx. And there you have it. Hammer built. I wonder if it's actually built by hammers. Probably not. Okay. Tiny. Little little tiny hammers. Mark. Um. Uh, next. Okay. Next, we're gonna pop off this strut. Pretty easy. Just take a small flathead screwdriver. Pop off these little clamps, and then it pulls right off. Takes a second to pry, but. Uh, It'll come right off, no issues. See, now we do the other side. Okay guys, next after you take that strut off, you're gonna use a TP45, it's a Torx Plus, I believe, yeah. to remove these. Now, we're gonna show you how to do it real quick, just wanted to tell you the size real quick. But also, that's my kid in the background. Also, you wanna take a rag or cardboard or something, fold it up and stuff it underneath here to prevent this from sagging when you're working because it'll mess up the alignment. That's very important that you do that. Cardboard's cheap and easy, go and get some. So after you get your cardboard in place nice and snug, we're gonna take our Torx Plus, uh, like I said, I'm on daddy duty, and we're gonna very carefully remove these bolts. Now, we're gonna do the top first, and then we're gonna do the bottom. 
So next, they have these conical washers that it comes with. So take your, your new bolts that they provide, and it's gonna go right there with the conical washer after you install the carrier, of course. Yeah, so now the moment of truth. Make sure your hammer bolt is facing the proper direction. And then we're gonna line up our conical spacer inside there, and then the bolt on the outside. So the conical space is gonna go inside the groove. Yeah. Ah, and there oh. goes the camera. We have to do all four at the same time. Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> Everything's falling. Oh. All right. Ah. Right in the middle of the truck even. You want to make sure your conical washers go inside. This is probably the hardest part, getting these things to stay. Jeez, this is going to be difficult. Let me put a dab of grease in there. Okay, so we're going to use a dab of grease on these conical spacers. Keep them in position because they keep trying to fall out on us. Boom. Think smarter, not harder. This was Jed's idea. That's why I hired him. That's right. Pays me in beer. Yeah. Okay, so we got the conical spacers in with the grease. Jed's gonna hold that sucker up. Channeling my inner Vanna White. Who's Vanna White? From Wheel of Fortune, man. How do you know the contestants on? Oh, she's not a contestant, huh? She's not a contestant, she's a letter flipper. She's a letter flipper, what a job. You know, I didn't check if these needed spacers or not. There wasn't any. Sweet, then we don't need spacers. I really like the conical washer. Yeah. Did yours have those? No, mine did not. That I bought from another company. Which company was that? I'm not gonna say, because I'm not happy with their products. <laughs> Hammer built, they give you conical washers. Next up, we're going to fit our tire carrier mount. And we're going to use these bolts that it came with with the washers. Let me squeeze by. These are going to be half inch. And it's got dowels so they can line up pretty nicely. And we'll, we'll get her in. Now the hardest part, just take your time, go through, keep everything loose and make sure you get all these bolts in and lined up properly before you go and snug everything down. Just be patient with it, it'll work. And then of course, as you're going through and you start to tighten everything down, it should move easily. Make sure you're not stripping anything out or binding anything. Just make sure you get your alignment right, take your time, don't strip anything make sure your spacing is good too so yeah next on or now on to the next part yeah cool stuff so real quick now that uh, jed pointed this out to me the rotopax bracket that this thing came with is really cool in the fact that it's adjustable so you can adjust depending on how big of a tire you have you can just put it further and further out that was a cool little touch they put in there so good job tyson so here this is installed. Uh, we put it on the max setting for now to clear that 37. Really nice, I like how they did that. That's pretty cool. Okay guys, we got all the bolts torqued down. So like I said before, this bottom one stripped out, but it's okay, we just reused the Ford factory bolt. It went in right, no, went in no problem. And lined everything up, 
put this sucker on. Now we're gonna mount 37. Okay guys, after you get everything torqued down, I misspoke, so I'm sorry about that. You're gonna wanna open your door up, make sure everything's aligned properly after you've set everything in place. Open it, close it, make sure it's all good to go, and then you can move on to reconnecting all your electrical shenanigans. And then, before we mount the tire, we're gonna go and we're gonna put the included strut on. Now already I can tell you this thing feels really solid, huge difference from how I had it before. So big shout out to Tyson from Hammerbilt. They made an awesome product. But let's throw that strut on there. It's really quick, it just pops on both ends. And then we're gonna put that 37 on and then the real test. Okay, okay. Kind of loosey goosey. And rotate the shaft. Yeah. Is that as far out as it'll go? No. Or well, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, that's uh, as far out as it lets you go right there. Ooh, it's stiff. That's a strong <laughs> strut. <laughs> Whew. All right. That's pretty cool right there. That is rigid. Dang. All right, we're going to test that. Shakes the whole car. So we're going to close it, then pop it open, and I'm not going to help it. That's pretty impressive. Okay, and there you have it. We have the hammer built tire carrier installed. Now I'm gonna open it for the first time. This thing's dangling around. I'm gonna open it for the first time, no assistance. Shakes the whole car. Close it. Super solid. That's cool. I'm very happy about it. Now we gotta test it out in trails, obviously. I gotta put my jerry-rigged Mitch Creel license plate bracket up. And uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. I'll show you some of the doodads on the other side and uh, stay tuned. So real quick, those doodads I was talking about, we have the roto packs on the max setting for 37s. It clears perfectly, no contact whatsoever. So if you have 40s, I would not recommend this setup. It's not gonna work for 40s, but anything up to 37 inch tires, you'll be fine. It also has this bracket as well for you to mount whatever you want, but a, you could put a light there, you could put an antenna, whatever you want, you can do that. And yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm very happy with the setup. It looks sweet, especially with that antimatter blue and it's super solid. So overall, very impressed, good build quality, no issues whatsoever with the install other than one bolt that was stripped, but that was easily remedied, so yeah. Really cool. If you have any comments, let me know. I'll be testing this pretty thoroughly on the Rubicon, on maybe Slick Rock one day. Moab. Moab for sure, the end Deer of the Valley. month. Deer Valley for sure. It'll get its use, guys. So thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, guys, so we just finished the install and I'm really happy with the product, but this is the only tire carrier I have experience with. Jed here, who's helped me do the install, has used and is currently using another tire carrier that he refuses to name, so I won't name it out of respect for the company, but it's a pretty popular tire carrier out there, and what are your thoughts after seeing both? This one's way better. Um, it fits way better. I actually had to grind out part of mine to get my 37s to fit, and I can't mount anything to it, really. Maybe an antenna. But I can't mount, mount roto packs or any sort of cans or anything, really. I would 100% buy this right now over the one I have. How much did you spend on yours? I don't know. A few hundred? I don't remember. It was a while ago. How much do you think this one's worth? Oh, easily the same. So this one uh, costs $200. Yeah, so it's a better yeah. deal, too. Yeah. So check out Hammerbilt. Excellent product. Tyson's a great guy, and they got a lot of stuff coming. I'll see you guys next time.